Hey guys, Harry got a birthday present from his daughter, son-in-law, and grandkids. He got a soda stream, and because we didn't know how to actually operate it, I had to look up to find out how in the world do we put this thing together and actually create the different sodas. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a video for you guys, plus that way it'd also show off his birthday present to everybody. So the one that he got, it's a value pack. So in the box came with this, this, and two of the canisters. And so what you have to do is this bottle right here, go ahead and fill the water with ice cold water up to the fill line. So that's the first thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and pop the canister in. So first thing you take off the safety seal and the cap, get rid of those. And that way then you're down to this. Then we pop off this cover here. This is the back. So we take the cover off of the back. So now we have it like this, pop this up just like that. This actually goes in bottom side first. And lock it in. Next we're going to go ahead and put the cover back on. Just like that. Now the front part, it either is in like that or popped out. You need it all the way out. The water bottle, we have it up to the fill line with ice cold water. Take that cap off. And then with this all the way out, slide this in like that, all the way up, and lock it into place. It will kind of dangle there. When it's locked into place, it will kind of dangle there. And then you're supposed to pump it five times in order to make the fizz. You can do more or less depending on how much fizz you want. Each pump you do for one second. So we go. One, two, three, four, five. So then you're going to go ahead and pop it off of there. It's going to have a little bit of a when you take it off, so just be aware. I'm trying to do this without making a mess. So see, you got plenty of fizz in there. So Gary has three flavors that his family got for him. He's got root beer, one that's kind of like a Sprite lemon lime, and then one that's like a Dr. Pepper. But Gary's favorite is always a root beer, so that's the first one that we're gonna go ahead and try. So when you take the cap off of this, this is what's down inside. Inside of that cap, there's three lines, and depending on how strong you want it, they recommend the middle line, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and try. All right, so we have it filled up to the middle line. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Pour our goodies in here. This is root beer flavor. And one of these bottles will make quite a few. Then they say go ahead and put the cap back on and slowly kind of turn it upside down and back again because you want it to kind of incorporate. You don't want to shake it because it'd be like just shaking regular soda. So now we've got it kind of shaken and I'm going to go ahead and pour it into a glass and we're going to go ahead and give this a test drive. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, look out. Getting a little crazy. I'm going to close that to keep the carbonation in. Sir, have a test drive. All right. Is there a proper way? Yeah, stick it in your mouth. <laughs> Ooh, I really like that. Does it taste good? Yeah, it does. All it still right. has that fizz in it. I'm going to test drive. You guys know I'll be honest if it sucks. Oh my God, that's good. <laughs> it is good at that. That is really good. Oh my God. That is amazing. But the cool thing is this cylinder makes up to 60 of the one liter bottles that comes with it. So, I mean, obviously, depending on how much fizz you put in, you might get more or less. But his kit came with two of them. I've seen them online. They're like 15 bucks for a cylinder. But the other part that's super cool is 
There's no electricity, no batteries for this. So you can literally take it anywhere. You can take it camping, you can take it on the road, whatever. But it's super convenient. You don't have to have electricity or batteries for it. But this is phenomenal. That's pretty awesome. That was a great birthday gift. So this is way better than I ever expected. I think if I was doing it, I'd probably put a little bit more of the syrup in. I went to the middle line. They've got three different lines on it. It could use a little bit more of the syrup. Overall, pretty phenomenal. Obviously, it's gonna be better once it's chilled in the fridge. We're using tap water that was cold, so that's not gonna be super cold. But it's actually really good. Oh, so yeah. thank you, Tom and Jenny and Gary's grandkids for thinking of this incredible birthday present for him because he will definitely get a lot of good use out of it. I would think so, yes. I really appreciate that. Kids, love you. If you are new to this channel, please hit that like and subscribe and ring bell notification so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest. Also, please don't forget to check out some of our other great videos we have on the parks, the rides, resorts, resort rooms, Skyliner rides, day trips, car shows, outdoor pizza oven videos, Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and Disney World. Thank you so much for watching.